feel it and get used to it. I'm looking into the computer right now, but what you can do is set up a mirror uh, against the chair or something like that near your bed. Bed's probably the best idea because you can let your lead arm drape over the edge of it and, and just relax. That way your extended shoulder won't be under stress. So I'm going to do a couple of angles um, just so you can see, but uh, basically get to the edge of the bed, roll on your side like this, okay? So I'm trying to get as close to the streamlined position as I can. Um, don't worry about the lead arm, it doesn't have to be exactly right. I'm just kind of letting it fall here. The main thing is, is being on the side of your bed. If you need to use your legs to kind of stabilize yourself, go ahead. So with your head down, you can move back a bit. If it's comfortable, you can put your forehead on the very edge of the bed. And that's a nice, helpful way to balance. So you're on your armpit in the side of your body. You might use your head. And now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put your fist next to you like this. So you kind of have a weird tripod going on here. You've got the fist for support, but you're on your side and you might use your neck, or sorry, your head for support. So this is where we want to get to, right? You're on your side and your elbows out and not back here, right? So we're not doing this, we're doing this. So this is the starting point. So this is the first thing you should do. Just you get on your side and from here, you can look up at the mirror or you can look down. It's just kind of do that. Just kind of swing your, your hand underneath your elbow. So this is the end of the recovery as you're going in. From here, you swing your arm and your elbow back to the side and then let it come into you like that. So here's another angle. Okay, so starting here and swing back down. If you lose the feeling, if you feel your shoulder engaging, just roll on your back a bit and do the same arm in a cast movement that, that you did. So arm with the other hip, lift it up, and then roll a bit back onto your side so that you're like this. This is how wide you want to go. So what you can do is actually look at your arm, bring your hand forward, and then just swing it forward like that. So all the time, your elbow should stay away from your body like it is now and not go like that and not have the shoulder do this. The most important thing is that when you bring your elbow forward, you don't want to roll at the same time. If ever your shoulder gets sore with this, be very, very careful and gentle because the things, everything's changed because you're not in the water. But the main sensation you want is to be in this position. Try it with your head down and neck relaxed. It's a lot easier. So that's with the hand dragging. So you can really tell if your hand stays in touch with the, the um, bed, you cannot draw your shoulder, your elbow over your body, which is the wrong thing to do. So as long as you're here, you can't do this because now my hand's away. So if you do this and just kind of scrape the edge of the bed like that every time, you will end up in the right position. So just do this a couple times. And when you feel like you've got it, just again, relax the neck, look down, try it with just your fingertips, barely trailing the edge of the bed. And then try it on the other side. Okay, staying on my side. If you have a mirror to the side of you, like looking at that angle, then look at that. But the front mirror is the really most important one. Or you could set up a camera to film yourself and see if you're doing this, or are you going like that, or are you going like and rolling. So you don't, you don't wanna move during the recovery. That's it.